or medical supplies including ventilators and oxygen equipment have arrived uh, from the UK in India. Ravi Singh is uh, founder and chief executive of Khalsa Aid International, a UK-based humanitarian relief charity which has workers on the ground assisting people in India. Ravi, we spoke the other day. I'm imagining that you're, you've been extraordinarily busy the last few days. Just tell us what you're hearing in terms of the strain on the health system in India. We're getting messages, emails, calls, anywhere people can get in touch with us from the India team, including in the UK, asking for help. All sorts of people from all over India. It's absolute desperation. The situation is getting worse, and people in rural areas and other parts of uh, India, outside the main cities, are fearing uh, the spread now. So there is a lot of panic as well. How well equipped are hospital facilities in more rural areas? I mean, we, we've seen in Delhi that so, some uh, hospitals are completely overwhelmed. Well, I've been speaking to some of the hospital, smaller and the larger charitable hospitals in the state of Punjab, and uh, some of them running out of oxygen, running out of beds. Private hospitals have put prices up really, really very, very high out of reach of ordinary persons. So we are now preparing to support some of those hospitals, especially the government hospitals and the charitable hospitals with uh, oxygen supplies. You know, I never thought in my life that we would be purchasing and procuring oxygen. So that's what we're doing at the moment is, uh, is we get a, we've got a contract now with a company to make sure that we've got enough oxygen for the next few weeks from them delivered to these rural hospitals, which are already being hit. So it's already uh, spreading. There's a lot of panic. A lot of people are now asking for help. And I'm not really sure how long we can sustain this oxygen supply. Or even now, we're in the UK. We were made an appeal uh, for oxygen uh, con concentrators. Uh, we've ordered, uh, well, we've ordered, we requested it from the public. And we received already in one day over 100 concentrators today. And we're expecting at least three, 400 oxygen uh, concentrators from the British public to center off in the next few days. The public have been very generous. So we're doing all we can, and these will be airlifted by this weekend, and then the next batch, hopefully soon after. If we just explain that an oxygen concentrator is a machine to help you breathe, uh, people have been buying them online here and sending them to you in Slough. That's it, yeah, to a Slough head office. I mean, I didn't expect it to be such an amazing response. I'm, I'm always so proud of the British public of this time, these are costing anything between 200 pounds to 400 pounds each. And people are just, you know, spending, uh, spending the money and sending these concentrators directly to our office in Slough for Khalsa A. And I'm so proud of the community that they're supporting this uh, and people of India during this, uh, during this emergency. And I think by the end of the week, we probably... I think we might have lost Ravi Singh, but we got the gist of what he was saying. There's been a, re a remarkable response from the British public and um, those uh, oxygen concentrators are making their way to India.